everyone this is ent student today i am going to say about the ent competency number 3.1 observe and describe the indications for and steps involved in the performance of auto microscopic examination in a simulated environment this is a picture showing auto microscopy parts of auto microscopy magnification changer eyepieces binocular splitter fiber optic block objective lens handles Auto microscopy is a routine examination of the external auditory canal and tympanic membrane through use of a surgical microscope and for purposes of this discussion is a procedure performed in an awake patient. Auto microscopy provides superior illumination and magnification as compared to non-magnified otoscopy for diagnostic purposes and gives the clinician freedom of both hands to perform therapeutic intervention. indications auto microscopy is indicated in a patient requiring visualization of external auditory canal tympanic membrane or mass in these areas auto microscopy may provide greater ease in sedimentation disimpaction tympanocentesis foreign body removal or in post operative debridement precautions ambulatory auto microscopy is a procedure performed in awake patient that requires thorough knowledge of anatomy of external and middle ear precaution should be taken to avoid canal abrasion there are no contraindications to this procedure materials required otologic microscope and a specula if procedure involves removing foreign bodies or sediment then the following may also be needed forceps clamps loops hooks microscopic scissors fracture suction attachments procedure pre treatment evaluation patient history is obtained and a preliminary external ear exam is performed if desired examination with a traditional otoscope may be performed prior to auto microscopy for preliminary visualization of canal and tympanic membrane setup auto microscopy is performed with the patient in either a seated or reclined position with head tilted away from the ear to be examined patient preparation perform the procedure the patient is posi- positioned in exam chair with desired level of recline head is tilted away from the examiner and the microscope is maneuvered into the position for focus and visualization of external auditory canal appropriate size reflective speculum is inserted into the ear canal diagnostic examination is performed any therapeutic interventions are performed with appropriate instruments for removal of cerumen foreign body and etc post procedure follow up This is the picture showing how the ex- microscopic examination is done. Supervision. It is required when there is an emergency or resuscitative events or following circumstances. Patient decompensation or intolerance to the procedure, bleeding that is not resolved, outcome of the procedure other than expected. Thank you.